So joining us on top table, we have Cesar Atspiliqueta and David Luz. The floor is yours for the questions, please. Uh, hi, this is a question for both guys. Um, your manager has just revealed to us that he loves you. Um, <laughs> he, he then went on to say that he has to consider that for the future, and there's been lots of speculation about, about his future. I just wonder what you make of that, your manager telling you that, that he loves you at this moment in time and, that, and talking a bit about his future. Yeah, now it's okay. Hello, uh, good evening to everyone. Uh, well, obviously, we feel uh, we have been working since July very hard with him. We have had uh, ups, we have had uh, downs where we were not happy, obviously, with, with the results. But uh, from the downs, I think we we became uh, stronger. We, we built a, a stronger group. And I think it's one of the reasons why we are here tonight. So obviously, uh, after all the hard work that uh, we have been doing uh, through the through the season, I think uh, we all deserve to to do tomorrow a good game, to to play with our heart, to give everything. Uh, we we missed uh, the Carabao Cup final on penalties in an unlucky way. So I think uh, tomorrow we have a very good opportunity to. To be happy all together with the manager, I think uh, no time to to speak about this uh, specula uh, speculation, and uh, only being focused in in tomorrow's game. Yes, of course, uh, he's the manager, and when we were in in the downside, uh, he was the first that uh, he was not happy and. Uh, we always uh, try to, to find the solutions to, to come back. Obviously, when you have uh, tough defeats, it's very, it's very difficult to, to, <laughs> to find the solution. But we did it all together. The manager, the first, uh, as soon as the, finish, the, the game was finished, he always tried to, to find the solution. And all together with the, with the staff and the players, I think uh, we did it. And, and as, as I said before, one of the reasons that we are here tonight. Do you need or no? He just said to me he loves you guys, everybody. He said he loves you also. <laughs> yeah, more than us. <laughs> uh, I think um, all is about uh, working hard every day and uh, knowing someone. Uh, he's someone with a lot of passion for football. He's someone with a great heart. That's why he has this feeling and that's why we have this feeling also. Uh, football gives you as opportunity to meet everybody every day, some new people, some new players, new coach, new staff, everywhere. I think it's about how you work and how you believe in one idea. And uh, I think everybody believes in his idea. And that you, that's why in the second question you say to him, ask him about the credit, of course. Or someone in his first season where we start very well. And uh, everybody was saying Chelsea is, is ready to fight for the title. And then some, uh, some up and downs. And then in the end, we, he brought, brought us again in two finals. And uh, tomorrow is a big opportunity to finish well. Uh, my question for David Lewis, uh, Tamer Maxwell, First News Information Agency. D David, you may know that uh, the former Chelsea star, Michael Essien, now lives in Azerbaijan and plays for the local team. Uh, did you discuss uh, this trip with him? And do, if yes, what he said? First of all, we have to say Michael is a, is a great guy, great player, great legend. And uh, if he is, he is because he knows where he's good. So I hope he's enjoying. Uh, I didn't have opportunity to discuss with him about uh, the country or the or the city. I just remember when we played here against Karabakh and it was amazing t stadium, amazing everything. So we, we quite enjoy a lot. Um, the Arsenal manager says that there's more pressure on them because Chelsea are already in the Champions League, whereas Arsenal have to win to get back into the Champions League. And also this season, 
Maurizio, the, your, your managers talked about mentality a lot. The, maybe the players didn't have the right mentality. Is this the, an opportunity for the Chelsea players to show that even when there isn't pressure on, they still have the right mentality to perform and to win silverware? Uh, I don't agree that we don't have the pressure. We are Chelsea and every time uh, we start the season, uh, we fight for, for every trophy. So tomorrow we have, a, we have a final, we have a trophy to, to fight for. Obviously, we, we did the job to get into the Champions League through the, through the uh, Premier League, finishing third. But this was uh, one target, but the other one is, is to, to, to win this trophy. Uh, we started in September playing the competition. We, we had always uh, the final on our mind. We, we wanted to fight for, for this trophy. So obviously for us, it's, it's a big game and we are, we are hungry uh, of winning uh, trophies. Well, uh, Peter knows better than me because he has been in, in both dressing rooms. I can only speak about Chelsea. Uh, I've been here seven years and I, I had always the same feeling. That was uh, since I walked in, uh, into the dressing room, uh, always the feeling was to, to win every game, to win every competition. And when we didn't do it, we were very disappointed. So, as I said before, uh, you know, uh, for us, uh, tomorrow is a, is a big opportunity to, to keep winning trophies, to, to, keep, uh, to win an European uh, competition that we won in, in 2013. But uh, uh, we were both of us uh, there and we know uh, how, how big it is and hopefully we can repeat it tomorrow. I think... Uh Unai just said that because he, he's not in Chelsea. That's why his pressure is everywhere. Because both are big clubs and because of uh, pressure. So it's normal. And this competition is not about the Champions League. This competition is about Europa League. It's about a trophy, a big trophy, like Aspi said. Everybody wants to win this, this competition. When we started that, there was many teams trying to be here today. And uh, I think uh, both of clubs did well. I think Arsenal and Chelsea did well. That's why we are here. So it's going to be a top, top final. We want to repeat like 2013 and uh, be the winners. This question for both of you. When you've both been at Chelsea a good few years now and you know, you just said earlier that you have to win things at Chelsea. If you don't win something, is a season at Chelsea a failure? What I'm sure is that uh, when we win uh, trophies, it's, it's, it's a better season than uh, when we don't win. Uh, as I said before, uh, every season that uh, we start, we fight for, for every trophy. Uh, this, uh, this season, uh, we, we didn't get very far in the FA Cup, but uh, we got into the final of the Carabao Cup where we eliminated Liverpool away, Tottenham, and we played Man City in the final. And the Europa League is a, is a long way to get, uh, to get here. I think we, we forget how many big teams uh, they, they wanted to be here. Um, we had a couple of, of tough games. And it's all about, uh, about winning trophies. Um, we have played uh, in a lot of finals, fighting for, for a lot of trophies. So tomorrow we have uh, a big chance to, to, keep, to keep winning and it's uh, what we are all hungry of it. I think uh, it's not fair if you don't win a trophy, but if you f don't fight for titles. I think we fight for titles this season. And uh, against City was the better side in that game and we lost in penalties. In the league, I said already have some up and downs and you finish very well, win some important games. And uh, tomorrow is a big title where you want to win and the uh, clubs as Chelsea always want to win a trophy so we're going to give everything and we're going to try our best to win that trophy because it's an important trophy and it also give us the opportunity to start next season fighting for another t title against uh, another English team the Super Cup uh, 
This one's first, says I. Um, I just wondered, what would it mean to you personally? You're going to wear the captain's armband, lead out your team, and you might lift a trophy. Is this something you dreamed about as a boy, and is this something you might get emotional about in the moment? Obviously, it's uh, something very special for me uh, to lead uh, this team, to lead this club. Uh, is uh, is something that, uh, as a boy, obviously you dream about it, but uh, to enjoy it and and to have the amazing uh, people around me in the dressing room in the club, uh, I think is is something very special. And and I don't like to think uh, about what uh, is going to happen or not happen. I I am really focused on on the game, on doing a great game, on on winning it, and then. Uh, hopefully to enjoy it, but uh, as I said before, it's, it's something very special for me, and hopefully we can we can top it up with uh, with a trophy tomorrow night. Uh, I won the European under 19 <laughs> with uh, with the Spanish national team, but obviously it's uh, nothing closer to this, and and hopefully we can we can do it tomorrow. A uh, question for David and, and Cesar. Uh, Mauricio said in the press conference that something changed with the mentality of the squad around January and February after that run that you went on. Can you give some insight into how maybe your mentality as a group changed and how the manager <coughs> helped get you out of that difficult period? I think uh, the first thing to change something in life is to understand the moments, and I think we understood. That's why when you understand the moments, when you understand where you are, you understand how you can can grow and can, how you can improve. I think uh, that's why we did it. Secret. <laughs> no, I think uh, it's like uh, if uh, you understand the, the, the group is, is good enough to fight for some titles. If you understand uh, sometimes you can lose some ways but to win after you have to sacrifice yourself you have to give more have to uh to do everything for this club and i think it was what they did there was many many players uh, understood that and we change our situation only intelligent people can adapt for me is that uh a sentence, if you're intelligent, you can adapt and understand the moment. If you're not intelligent, you're never, never going to change. My name is Abe from Abe Live. It's for the two players. Chelsea is a big side. Arsenal is a big side. And it's a battle. Uh. It's a London battle holding in Baku. As a matter of pride for you players, where will this rivalry rank if you win or lose tomorrow in your career? Because it's a battle of it's a real it's a it's a battle that you must win or lose tomorrow, and it's a battle of London pride. Where will it rank in your career? Obviously, it's a it's a London derby. We have played uh, against each other. A couple of times in in English competitions. Uh, tomorrow is a European final. It's a big game for for both clubs, and and obviously we are we are determined because uh, can add uh, another trophy into our career, and we have been working uh, so hard to to win titles for this club. So hopefully tomorrow we can do it. But uh, yeah, of course, it's, it's it's a very big game. I think it's going to be a, a great final, like you said. It's a great battle, and uh, everybody wants to win. And it's going to be in the history. Who is going to win? And uh, like uh, everywhere, like every year, like like every titles, we're going to speak about who won the title. So we want to be Chelsea. We'll take two more questions. Gentleman in the back, and the gentleman in the third row. Uh, after a long time, you come back again to Baku because you played against Karabakh. Uh, what, uh, how you remember Baku Olympic Stadium? 
It was a great game. Uh, we won 4-0, no? So it's great memories. We won 4-0. Great stadium. The facility was amazing. And they gave us lucky. So I hope it can give us lucky tomorrow also. Gentlemen in the middle. Question for both of you. Um, what do you think about playing that late at night and how much an effect it's going to have on the game and your individual performances? Thank you. That late night? Still 8 o'clock in London. To get some jet lag, you need five days to change your jet lag. So if you keep your time in the English time, it's going to play the same. So for us, it's going to be 8 o'clock. And uh, it's not the excuse, it's going to be the same for us. It's not that late night. I think for the people who live here, for everybody going to go to the stadium, it's more difficult than for us. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. You're free to go. He's going to cry. The training. He, he did five already. <laughs> <laughs> leave, leave, leave him, if not, he's going to cry. OK, on a special request. <laughs> yeah. Can you just wait for the mic, please? Hey, had to be a good one, and if not, uh... how much do you love us? No. Um, <laughs> did you know that Arsenal have already released details of the plans for their trophy parade uh, in London on Friday? And I just wondered if you did know that, and if you didn't, what you think of that? I can reply. I think it's quite normal things where teams prepare things for, for the final. So they have to be also uh, positive in their side. So we are positive in our side. We want to touch the trophy before to touch uh, something to drink. So I want to touch the trophy before the party. So I want to win the trophy. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to answer? Uh, you know they they have to plan for this. Hopefully we can we can win it. Uh, our job is to to play the game to win the trophy. Um, you know that uh, we didn't plan the parade doesn't mean that we are not hungry and determined to win the trophy. So you know I think uh, it's, it's it's normal for us. We will be. We'll go uh, with everything, we'll give everything. Last game of the season, of a long season, but uh, when you have a trophy in the middle, you get energy from, from everywhere. And hopefully, all together, we can get our hands in the trophy. That is uh, the most important thing. Gentlemen, thank you very much you. for your patience Bye. and your time. Bye. Bye.